Welcome back to Alan's Trains at Stockton Station. I'm locked in my bunker today and I'm going to take a look at the Freescale Scenes kit and a request from a user who can't extract the walls for the cutouts. I'll just show you a couple of methods of doing that. Hope it helps. So here we are in Inkscape. And what we'll do is we'll do File, Import, and then bring in the Scale Scenes file. I've just brought both pages in together. Now what happens sometimes is, depending on your screen, as it imports it, um, you will only see the first sheet and then you'll be hard to get to the other one. Just simply click on the screen and then zoom out until you can see them both. Move them in, then click on this screen here and zoom in like that. Now the bit that you want is the card that fits behind these here. Now if you go to this page on the PDF, they're already separated because if you click on there, that is the end wall that you're after. There's one of them. Click on this one and that's the end wall. It'll leave all the text behind. Then go to the flip button here, which is third ribbon down and then click on the fourth icon and that'll turn that around for you. Now, if you want to do them both at the same time, obviously you can align them. I've got the snapping tool on at the moment. So there's the two pieces that I think you're after. So I think you've been trying to get them out of this bit here. Now, if you were trying to do it through that bit, you've then been and click and drag that, and then you've tried to separate them and you can't do it. Now, that really is, I think, what you're after is those two card cuts there. But I'm going to show you something now that is hidden behind this one here where you've taken the printed sheet off. So when you get to a more complex one that you're struggling with, this is just another fix. I'll just do the, I'll do this one on the right, which is the one with the door in it. Now, if you're really struggling, and Inkscape is good at this, just zoom into the article that you want. That's the bit you're after. I'll leave the grid off, but leave the snapping tool on. Now, if you wanted to remove this bit and you wanted to remove those edge bits there, so you've got a, a very hard cut there, click on select, click on the pen tool, click on there, click down, double click to leave it behind, and there's the line. Now, if you then go to select and duplicate, so click on and duplicate, move it across to that side as well. It'll click into place automatically. If you now want the doorway, using the select and the pen tool, don't forget to click on the pen, click on there, and there it was, the snapping tool will take you there, drag it down to the bottom, and it should hold its line. Now what you've got to do is click select pen again and this time click on there and drag it down to there. You've now drawn four or five extra lines. Now go to the pen tool again and this time start in this corner here. So click on, click the next corner, click the peak, click Keep going. Now stop at the doorway, click, click up, click along, click down, and go back to where you started. Then press the select. Now click on the doorway part that you don't want, and it will drag everything away. And you're now left with the end of the building, which will be exactly the same as what you had from there. And as you can see, just doing it the rough way, you can see mine's just snapped exactly into place over the other one. Okay, and you've left behind all the spare bits that you didn't want, and you've got the actual door opening complete. These are all the extra lines that you did at the beginning, and that's the back that was there. And you can repeat that with any others as you go through. I hope that's helped, but you then said that you wanted vertical and horizontal lines. Now, 
The easiest way for vertical and horizontal lines, as I've shown in another video before, is this time just make, uh, put the grid on, view the grid, page grid. And I'll move away from there. Click on select and click on the pen tool. Now go to any junction and draw a straight line. So it clicks on the grid. While you're there, keep the mouse there and go down and draw another line. Now you should have the line drawn then for you. There's a vertical and horizontal line, very simply done. Now you can do those as separate lines. Now turn the grid off. Now we'll say that you didn't want that size length. Say you wanted only a three millimeter line. Well, on this box here, if you only want it to be three millimeters long, go to the top width, change it to three millimeters, click, and it will make it three millimeters. If you wanted the other one to be three millimeters, the height, I oh, will make that 10 millimeters, just as something different. Click on there. Now I'll zoom into that and you'll see that the line is very, very faint until you start zooming in and then it will appear a lot clearer as to what you've actually made. Now when you put the grid back on, view the grid, you will see where it fits into the grid and what the size of the grid squares are. So you can see that it's a very tiny piece that you've made, but because you've made it big first, it makes it easier to manipulate. Thanks for joining me in the Stockman Station Bunker for a one-on-one -on -one presentation and hope this helps clear a few things up. Thanks for watching.